Well, a long-time Northeast Mississippi law enforcement officer says the support of his family and his faith in God helps him confront Lou Gehrig's disease. WCBI's Chad Groening has more on the story. Ken Hall's and his family at home in Satillo. Ken retired from the Tupelo Police Department in January of last year after nearly 30 years on the force. In 2017, he was named Law Enforcement Officer of the Year by Crime Stoppers of Northeast Mississippi. But after looking forward to retirement and slowing things down, this past fall, things changed. He started having speech trouble in September of last year. And then um, we went to the doctor finally in November. When we saw the doctor, he was um, pretty quick to recognize ALS and uh, several tests and a lot of things that he had to go through to confirm that diagnosis, but they did confirm that diagnosis. Of course, we got over the initial shock of being diagnosed with ALS, and uh, luckily I have a wonderful family that, that takes good care of me. And Hall says his faith is very important. It's a simple story. I love God with all my heart, all my soul. And this disease may take uh, my body, but will I take my soul? Because it belongs to Jesus Christ. We know that no matter what comes, there's going to be happy days and there's going to be some tough days, but we know um, he's, he's already there and he's going to take care of us. And Ken and Vermont have had the blessing of two daughters, Madison and Mary Christian. We were shocked. You know, we're, we're young daughters, and we just, at this age, we didn't think that we would have to go through something like this at such a young age, and even our father and our mother being um, such a young age, too. So we were shocked, you know, and we, st we still are, but we're, um, we're dealing with it. I'm thankful um, for the support and um, for the Lord giving us strength to get through it. Yeah, I mean, we were pretty devastated, but somehow God has given us strength to get through this. So, I mean, that's our only source of strength. Chad Groening, WCBI News, Sotelo. A week from today, there will be a spaghetti luncheon fundraiser for Ken Halls at Faith Baptist Church in Sotelo at noon.